Hi everybody, welcome back. I hope you're doing really well. Today I am going to sit down and do my makeup and have a little chat with you all because, yeah, everything has changed very suddenly, very exciting things. Um, lockdown is over for me now as well, as of tomorrow. I'm pretty sure as soon as I'm back at work from tomorrow onwards, um, I'm not going to have a lot of time to be filming and stuff, so I thought I would just sit down and, yeah, do a video for you all just so you kind of know where we're all at. If anybody cares, which I doubt, but it's fine. Yeah, I'm basically just going to do like a very simple everyday kind of makeup look that I've been doing at the moment. Um, I have got a few new products to try as well. Yeah, just going to get going, going to zoom you in a little bit. Hi. Is that a bit much? Potentially, no. Mm, yeah. I have a fringe again now. Um, I always weirdly like really feel like myself whenever I have a fringe. Like, I feel like it's just my calling in life but I have realized my eyebrows are potentially the only redeeming feature of myself and they're now gone so but mm, I don't know it's okay is it I don't know so I've already moisturized today so I'm just gonna go straight into my base um, so for primer today, this is actually a new one. Well, it's not new, but it's new to me. This is the Fenty Beauty Silk Soft Silk Pro Filter Hydrating Primer. I normally like primers that aren't like actually glowy, like have glowy bits in them. So yeah, you can see that as soon as you put it on, your skin does look really, really glowy. And it just feels really soft and nice. Then for my base, this is a product that I saw loads and loads of people talking about. Um, I ordered it and... So no, I, I don't love it as much as I wanted to, but I have found like a way to make it work. This is the It Cosmetics CC Plus Colour Correcting Full Coverage Cream, um, and it has SPF 50, which is like one of the reasons I bought it. Um, but I just, I don't know, when I first put it on I think it looks quite nice. Like it, So it obviously is like a fuller coverage, which I don't know if it's just because, you know in summer your skin just doesn't really want that and it looks a bit weird. I don't know if it's because of that, but like... By the end of the day, my skin just looks horrible. Like, I can't even explain it, but it just looks, like, patchy. And I use, like, one pump of it. Because you do get quite a lot out at once. Um, I have the colour medium tan, by the way. But all the packaging rubs off as well. Every time you touch it, it all... Oh, that's so annoying. Oh, for fuck's sake. And then, to kind of, like, dilute it, I've been using Estee Lauder, um, the Illuminator. So it's like an illuminating primer. I just kind of mix the two together like that. And it obviously creates more of like a tinted moisturiser. Um, and then I use my Big Killer Impressions brush. And I just mix the two together and then just start applying it. Like this just makes it like the perfect consistency. It makes it a lot glowier as well. And um, because the It Cosmetics one is like the perfect colour for my skin. And I actually do like it when it first goes on but it just seems to do something really odd like throughout the day. I've tried setting it, I've tried not setting it, I've tried like loads of different things and it just doesn't seem to. You can see like with this you're still getting the coverage from it because it is like it's surprisingly full coverage. For concealer this is one that I use all the time but this is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer and this is the shade 210. This is just like my favourite concealer ever. So, as I was saying, um, I'm going back to work tomorrow, which is going to be so weird. Um, I'm like very nervous, but I don't know, I think I'm just excited, but I don't know. Yeah, we'd all got ready to go back to work on like the 4th of July, because we the tattoo shops are always kind of put under the same thing as like hairdressers and barbers. Um, so, because they said the hairdressers could open from the 4th, I think we all just assumed... Like, nobody had said we definitely couldn't, so we were all ready to open. And then, yeah, like, a couple of days before, they were like, no, actually, tattoo shops can't open. Um, so we were like, oh, right, cool. We all kind of assumed we probably wouldn't be going back until about August time. Um, just because, like, there wasn't due to be another announcement about it for quite a while. So I kind of thought, right, I've probably got another month off or so. And then, when was it? Last week, randomly, didn't even know there was going to be another announcement about it. They just said, oh yeah, you can go back from Monday. So this was on uh, Friday, I think it was on a Friday, Thursday, Friday they said that. 
Um, so I was like, shit. So yeah, I had this like mental panic of an evening trying to sort everything out to go back. So yeah, it's going to be really, really nice to be back with everyone. And just being back into a routine is going to be so nice. Um, like I'm the kind of person that I have to be so busy all the time or I just kind of crash. Um, which I mean, it's so unhealthy because like I have a day off and I'm just like, what do I do? But yeah, it just, it just works better for me to be like busy all the time. Um, and yeah, it's going to, it's going to be nice to go back to like Sunday being my day off and like actually enjoying Sundays again to like be with my family because I mean, I've been with them since March and it's, it's a little much now to be honest with you. Yeah, I think it's just going to be, it's going to be very different. I think it's the same for everybody in any job. Um, the world at the moment is just very strange. And I think everybody's just doing like the best they can. And we're trying to kind of figure it out along the way. And um, so sorry, I completely forgot to say, but I just use my nude sticks, uh, Bondi Bay and in the nude sticks for my cheeks. I feel like these sit really nicely on top of this foundation as well. I don't know how well you can see that, but they've never sat so well on top of a foundation as that one, um, which is a bit of a shame because... I don't actually really like it. So for my brows, I'm going to use the Il Maquillage Hypnotize Fill and Fix Brow Shaper. And um, this is the colour Truffles. So I'm not really doing much to my brows, obviously, because my fringe just covers them anyway. So it's almost the front bit looks all right. That's all that really matters. Here we go. Um, so for my eyes, I think I'm just going to keep it like really, really simple. Um, so I'm going to take that Nude Sticks Bondi Bay stick and I'm just going to use that as a base on my eyes because it's just a really nice bronzy nude colour. Yeah, I've got that feeling, you know, when you go back to school like after the summer holidays and you're just like really nervous about everything, even though you've been there for like forever. But yeah, I feel a bit like that. Um, I just think trying to like go back to your routine but in this kind of new like world situation it's very odd like we went out for dinner um for the first time the other night and it felt like completely normal and then other things just feel like really weird like i think tattooing people's going to feel really odd i don't know i guess you get used to it. it just kind of becomes your new sort of normal really doesn't it and hopefully this won't be forever but it just feels so weird to think at some point this is probably going to end and we're not going to have to like wear masks all the time and all the distancing and stuff like that. It's, I just don't get when it's going to be like, okay, everything's fine. Um, but yeah, hopefully soon because I'm a bit over the fact that I just got my teeth done and now I've got to wear a mask all the time. So I'm just going to curl my eyelashes. I finally bought myself some new eyelash curlers because I realised I think I'd had mine since I was maybe 17 and they were doing nothing anymore. Um, so these are the Kevin Aquan eyelash curlers. I think they're the only ones they do. It's mental when you buy a new pair of eyelash curlers. What they actually do. Crazy. And then for mascara today, um, it's actually a brand new one that I got sent last week. I haven't actually tried it yet so this is going to be like first impressions. Um, but this is the Hourglass Unlocked Instant Extensions Mascara. Um, quite a fancy bottle. Ooh, the brush is one of those kind of like longer, spiky little ones. Um, I never normally like mascaras when they're brand new because I feel like they always make your eyelashes a bit too wet. But this doesn't actually look too wet, so let's hope. Okay. Okay, so that's just one layer. I'll zoom you in so you can actually see it a bit better. Actually, one coat. So, yeah, they look really nice actually. They're definitely more of a lengthening mascara than like a real thickening one, but that's fine. That works. And I do usually use like two or three mascaras all the time, just because I feel like they all do like really different things. Um, so when I want to like thicken my lashes up, I always use the Too Faced Down Girl mascara. That's like my favourite. Um, and I feel like this just kind of like, I don't know, it just thickens my lashes up a bit. There we go, you can see they're pretty lengthened um, and I have thickened them up a little bit with the other mascara. But yeah, the combination of those two is really, really nice. Hmm. Okay, I'm just going to add a little bit more 
definition. A little bit more definition to my cheeks um, using the Morphe blush palette. I'm going to take this colour. No, I'm not. I'm going to take this colour here. Um, it's just like a kind of peachy, bronzy sort of thing. There we go. And then I'm just going to put my little freckles on using Freck. Another thing that I want to talk about. Um, obviously, I can't like say exactly what it is at the moment or anything, but I'm working on something since the start of the year. Um, obviously. It was actually due to come out kind of April time and then obviously Rona ruined my life. Obviously like everything else in the world it all got put back. But the kind of everything's like finished now. Um it's just a matter of like shooting everything and yeah, getting all the kind of like promo side of it all ready. Kind of like a rough date of like when we kind of want it to be coming out, um, which is gonna be probably end of August, early September at the latest. Um, like I saw everything properly for the first time the other day and honestly like it is just so beautiful. Um, and yeah, I'm just really, really excited. It's something that like I've put a lot of work into and it's been obviously a long time coming. Um, something that I feel like is very, very me and it makes a lot of sense for me to be doing it now. It's also something that I've always, always wanted to do and yeah, so yeah, um, I'm really excited about it. And yeah, I know that everybody will love it as well. It's very, very funky cool. Yeah, like even the next couple of months are going to be pretty full on. Um, but good full on, we like full on. I'm going to line my lips with the Il Maquillage Coffee Lip Liner. For my lip colour, I'm going to use the In The Nude um, Nude Sticks colour thing, whatever it is. I just think it's a really good way of kind of like tying your face all in together and this is just a really nice peachy kind of nude colour. I'm going to highlight my skin a little bit using the Melt Cosmetics um, Gold Ore Highlight. Obviously this is one of my favourites ever. Um, I'm not going to go too overboard. Um, I'm excited for like the next couple of months. I feel like, you know, life's finally getting back to normal. Back to work and then I've got the shoot for everything and then that will all be coming out and then it's my 21st in September and then yeah that's it that's actually is it but it's still good. I'm um, very glad that this lockdown situation is over. Um, personally just I just found it really difficult it was one of those things that I kind of thought at the start of it like I'm in a much better place now like this is going to be okay this is actually going to be like some nice like forced me to have some time off kind of thing um but it, it just obviously it went on a lot longer than i think any of us were expecting and yeah as i said i'm the kind of person like i really rely on having a routine to kind of like keep me going um and yeah i feel like kind of last week and the week before particularly like I just really crashed and I was just like I literally can't do this anymore um I think having to go back to doing kind of Instagram social media whatever full time um it's reminded me the reasons why I stopped doing it full time and it's yeah just like confirmed for me that it was the right decision um I love tattooing all week and I love being there and I love meeting people and doing that and yeah I think when you've kind of had some of that and then you have to go back to a job that you didn't love as much before it just was just really like deflating for me um because i like the balance of the two i like to be able to go to work all week and do that and that's my kind of like creative side that like i enjoy and i love doing that and then i like to kind of like have monday as my like filming day and when i get all my instagram stuff done but i think when it's just that endlessly it just it's just too much for me like hats off to anyone who can do it but absolutely not to the life for me so i'm gonna set my face and try not to get my fringe wet hey. oh my god oh my god see this is a stress when you have curly hair because so yeah very glowy summery very easy to do So that is the finish look for today's video. Thank you so much for watching this and thank you for being here. I hope everyone's feeling like okay and feeling positive about everything and kind of getting back to normal life slowly. Um, hope you all have a lovely week. Yes, lovely week. And I'll see you all very soon. Love you.